All right, let's bring on uh, Grace Scott. Have you guys introduce yourselves? We'll get you a couple of microphones here uh, as we are in the busy, busy right now. Uh, so let us know uh, who you are, a little bit about your team and what you've been working on. I uh, see you got more of a unique intake uh, from what we've seen from the other teams too. Hello, everybody. We are 7974, Great Scott. And currently, this is our center stage robot. It has been approximately eight hours, and we're proud to say this is what we have so far. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. So unlike a lot of the teams that we've seen who so far have claws, we decided to go for the more ultimate goal inspired route where we have a compliant wheel intake. Now one issue that we found was that the hard polycarbonate edge on our ramp actually prevented the pixel. And that's because unlike ultimate goal rings, they're non-compliant. So instead we actually have a compliant uh, lip to our ramp that creates the gradient slope that is needed to get this to go up. We also considered the side stacks for the pixels where they might be two or three pixels high, usually three, and notice that a lot of intakes that are just solid state might not be able to get this. For this, we actually have a servo controlled linkage that can raise and lower our to knock down the stack. So far, that's all that we have built, um, but we also plan on using a Rover Rockets inspired lift system in the center of our robot. And we're also going to be working on a lift system that a sort of bowl shaped holder for the pixel and tilt out and deposit it. Uh, I think that's about it for our robot at the moment. So uh, when you guys were looking at the game challenge on this, uh, once again, we had that, the wheeled intake that you have. How did you notice that the pixels were reacting to that sort of intake? Have you actually put pixels through yet and tested that out at all? Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah the pixels through the intake. And currently, when we've been doing it, they've been going in really nicely, but they shoot kind of hard and past our robot sometimes. So we added this kind of fence in the back wall to kind of knock it down, and then it'll fall nicely into our bucket. I have a question from Abraham Mahmoud, which is, how do you plan to prevent picking up more than two pixels at a time with that intake? So mainly, we're going to be counting on our human player to be doing a good job putting the pixels down, kind of like how last year in Power Play, the human player had a really important role. And we're going to be working with the stack over there, too. So hopefully, we'll be taking one off and being able to score it. I have another question from Helen Saunders, which is, are you planning on placing via claw? No, we are not. So we're going to have a basket that flips up with a little like servo controlled arm kind of that just flips in and out that will release it onto the board. Another question from Booty Games. With the speed of that intake, would it be possible to store then shoot pixels onto the backboard? Well, I guess it could be, but if we hit the backboard too hard, we don't want pixels falling off. Yeah, we actually, uh, we experimented with a few motor speeds. Our current speed, I believe, is 1650, 1150. Uh, when we tried 6,000 RPM just to see, we were actually able to shoot them a good, I th I'd say 12 feet out of the back of our robot. So I guess with some tuning, we could shoot them onto the backboard. Another question is from Stateline Homeschool Robotics, which is, do you have a drone launch system yet? We're currently working on that right now. One of our team members is putting all their hard work towards that right now, and we look forward to seeing what he comes up with. Do you know with. what your idea is for it? Yeah, so currently we're, I believe we're working on a method that uses a rubber band to launch the paper airplane, and that'll be actuated by a servo. So when the servo goes down, the rubber band makes the airplane go forward. Um, another question from Helen Saunders, which is, do you have a holding transfer system in mind? We do have one in mind, but not in place yet. Would you like to explain that a little bit more? Sure. sure. So we have, so it'll shoot up into our little like basket bucket thing. And then we're going to have some arms that 
lift it up and over, and then we can deposit it onto the backboard. All right, another question from Helen Saunders is, are you planning on keeping a low bot for height purposes? Yes, yeah, we're making sure, 100% sure we can get underneath. We don't want to deal with a traffic jam. We just want to be on our way scoring pixels. Um, as uh, you guys, like we talked about, the uh, your airplane launcher is going to be one of your next things you're working on. What is something else on uh, Great Scott's uh, laundry list to do for tonight before you guys leave tonight? So I'm not leaving tonight. So all right. I'll be all the way doing this towards the morning. Uh, on our goal to get done by around like 6, 7 a.m., we want to have our climb done. We want to have a full prototype of our drone launcher, and we want to have the outtake mechanism done. And that should pretty much polish off the entire robot. It's fine if we miss like one thing on that, but that's the goal. All right, well, great, Scott. Good luck uh, throughout the rest of the night. If you're staying all night, we can't wait to see uh, the progress of that in the morning as well, too. Uh, so let's give Grace Scott a big round of applause here for all their progress so far. Thanks so much. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.